Hey guys, it's John Adams with Modern Design Aquascaping. I am back again today to talk to you about fountain construction. Today's video is about an advanced construction that we had the opportunity to do in Nashville here not too long ago. So I'm going to show you an awesome video of our team installing a 20 foot diameter fountain. Hey, and by the way, if a 20 foot diameter fountain is way bigger than what you had in mind, click the link up here to find out about a small fountain installation like the one behind me. So in order to bring you value with this video, I want to show you what's underneath the ground in an advanced fountain construction because it's every bit as important as what's above the ground. We're going to take this fountain and we're going to do everything we can to amp it up and make it amazing. So we're going to drill out all the fountain pieces. We're going to put bigger plumbing on it. We're going to put bigger pipes on it. We're going to put bigger pumps on it. We're going to drill lights into everything. There's going to be big lights shining through the water to create this firelight effect that we talk about. There's going to be small lights all the way around. It's going to be visible from the street. It's going to be visible from the house coming and going. The whole circle driveway turns around it in front of this beautiful home in Brentwood, Tennessee. You know that you are building a crazy cool fountain when you get a pile of parts like these. Look behind me. A stack of aqua blocks. I don't even know how many are there, like 60. We got lights, we got pumps, we got urns, we got spheres. There's parts everywhere. It's gonna take us a half a day just to put all this business together. So no job is without complications. This one is no exception. Issue number one on this project was the driveway. It was the exposed aggregate driveway, so we had to be very careful. We were constantly moving plywood back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, underneath the machine so that we weren't grinding gravels into the road. Problem number two, there's nowhere to get rid of dirt. So we have to find a place to, to basically burn through this dirt in the backyard. What does that mean? That means load after load scooping it into the back of the dump trailer with the excavator, driving it to the back of the house, scooping it out of the back of the dump trailer with the excavator, moving it around with small machinery in the backyard to put it where we want it. It took so long to get rid of the soil. And let me tell you what, when you put in a fountain this size, there is a lot of soil. Hey guys, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, what we've got done up to this point. In this particular application, our splash zone is 20 feet diameter. So we can have a whole lot more action if we're catching water all the way to the outside edges. So what you're looking at in the hole right here, all of the edges in this circle are tapered down towards the center. So all splash water runs back to the middle. We then have these small aqua blocks that we use, we've leveled this bottom out perfectly down here. If we do any pitch at all, we level the whole thing slightly to these snorkels. So this is where our pump goes. It's the lowest point in the feature. All of these blocks that fit inside of here are perfectly level. They fit tight together and then we pack around the outside edge. And the top of it is a strong level surface on which we can build our fountain. So at this stage, we're now gonna put a protective underlayment layer down in the bottom between the soil and our liner. That's gonna take and keep it from puncturing our EPDM liner. That's our waterproof barrier. And once we have the underlayment and the liner, we're gonna put another layer of the underlayment inside where the blocks go so that we can wrap that around all the sharp corners of the blocks. We make sure that no sharp edges can touch our rubber. The extra protection will make sure that we don't have holes and leaks down in the bottom of the construction when we're through. That's pretty important. So, all right guys, now we have completed the underground portion of our custom fountain. So we are ready to move on to the artsy fartsy stuff, which is the part I like. 
So let's talk about what we have to do. We have all six of these fountain pieces. We have to run pumps. We have to run plumbing. I have to take the actual fountain pieces and our team is going to, first of all, drill the holes out in the top of the fountains and, and make those modifications. We then have to get them plumbed. We have to situate them. We're gonna change elevations. We're gonna use additional aqua blocks inside of our basin to raise and lower things. We have to get everything situated so that artistically it looks nice from every direction. We then, once we have them all situated inside of there, we also have to make sure that we position them properly. Our team is gonna drill holes in for these lights into each fixture, and depending on the fixture and where it's situated will be if we're using three watt LED lights or if we're using one watt LED lights. Every light is put in with a specific purpose to create a specific effect. Then we gotta level the feature we got to make sure everything's sitting just right. We're going to test run the plumbing, put some water in it so that we can see that the water's going where we want because we've got ball valves to adjust each fountain individually. And when we get through, we're going to just pile up rocks and create all these crazy elevations around the end. So we're going to cover up all of this man-made stuff underneath with what's going to look like a pile of stone. We're going to set boulders in here and there. We're going to use all these mountain stones to cover everything up. Then we're going to mix river rock in between all of that in different sizes. We're going to sprinkle this stuff over the top. We're going to clean the edge. We're going to run all this wiring. And when we get done, the water is just simply going to run out of these fountains and disappear into this natural rock formation. It's going to look amazing. Before I'm done, I want to introduce you to my great friend. I got Mr. Derek Johnson here. What's happening? I just wanted to do a quick commentary in the dark. Oh man, I'm just putting it out here. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, We're working under tiki's right now, by the way. Well, that's what's up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope it inspires you to do something water feature-ish in your own space. If you liked what you saw, give me the thumbs up down there. Hit the subscribe button if you want to get more for modern design aquascaping. My name is John Adams and I appreciate you watching. Have an amazing day.